Okay, so in this point uh, of the brain, we should, uh, well, if we press this guy, we can also shift the H to show it. We should have the, the perfect overall shape or volume of the brain, uh, only of this part of the brain, um, not the bottom. You can include another one afterwards. Uh, and save as, so you're happy with this, and you can, you know, you can always come back and do new deformations to this. If you save it as, you know, and, and then you just uh, hide one of these and start manipulating these guys. And let's see how we could actually create this type of landscape uh, for the brain. Uh. Okay, um, I'm going to span this to, to perspective, and I'm going to leave it like that. So what we have to do is uh, remember save as, because what we're going to do is this the idea of the mesh uh, smooth no in options and we're going to put it in three and say um, say smooth so it's going to create a lot of geometry as you can see uh, so that's why we saved it as we cannot go back um, from this point uh, and what we're going to do basically is use two things um, little by little one is the the paint uh, selection tool and afterwards the the sculpt, which is mass sculpt geometry tool. First of all, um, the selection one, and we can double click here. Uh, we have this uh, window that pops out, um, and we need to actually be in faces, not in vertex. And we're gonna change the radius so it's, you know, big enough so we can select uh, rows of uh, of uh, faces, and then we're gonna strew them. Another thing you have to be sure of is that this has to be checked, has to be uh, keep faces together. It's very important to do that. So, um, okay, let's let's do an example. Uh, we probably want to just probably go to the other images more accurate. Let's go to images and this guy. And there we go. We're going to do like a line here. It's going to be much more geometrical than this, but it's fine. Uh, uh, for now, um, so what we're gonna do is pretty much select rows of of faces. As you can see, as I go by by pressing uh, uh, to the faces, it's selecting faces as I go pressing it. Okay. Now we can do also like uh, this. Or leave that away and like Control C there because I thought I didn't like it. Uh, we don't want straight lines. The the less straight lines, the better. And if we had a powerful com uh, computer, not my case, uh, we probably want would probably want to have uh, uh, also as uh, Control C. They, they shouldn't touch. There has to be a gap there. Uh, we probably want more meshes, more uh, polygons or here, but this good with mesh too. So I'm trying to avoid having um, uh, many straight lines. So uh, you should do several tests for this, uh, and and see how how it goes. Uh, that's good. And I'm gonna select. As you select, you see it aggregates uh, faces. Uh, be be aware that you know it's just the radius should be according to what you want. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna select a couple of them here. Uh, that's good. Okay, uh, we don't want like these sharp cuts. We want to um, select this more like a gradient changes. And now what we're gonna do is it's very simple. Is uh, we can either go to right click and shift, or we can go to mesh. Uh, so edit mesh and extrude. No, zero. No, uh, we can uh, right click and shift. That's always extrude, and this comes out. Uh, since we have keep faces together it's a whole surface that is being extruded and don't touch anything just have to check the the gizmo that shows here and you have to press the arrow the blue one up an amount that you think it's uh it's for the brain uh it's accurate no? now as you can see the more mass the less that it makes sense so i will probably go back to the selection and and check uh, there's more like continuous type of uh morphology but it's, I think it's a good thing to to start with. Uh, and now in this case, we want to make bigger this thing by pressing the box in the top and expanding upwards. So they're like, as you can see, slightly touching. Uh, in some cases, other ones there's gaps, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
Now this is a good time to just go to object mode and see what we have. Uh, as you can see, it's quite uh, geometrical because of how the shape it is. But it's we're going to be able to solve it afterwards. So I will continue on with selection of lines. Let's do uh, faces again and select that uh, with the brush. Double click so we have the same selection. And I'm going to do another if it wants because my computer is also quite slow. So and I'm going to do another line and I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to select some other guys here you can get close to there is fine because they're going to be independent uh, from that one and and you can create the shapes this should be a very fun thing to do uh, if you're in the mood if not just uh, take a coffee and come back uh -huh, with your mood re uh, revitalized um, so we have this line is going to come here and another one here uh, we probably want to get closer here and now again it's the same gesture shift right click extrude no uh, and it's gonna have the same gizmo so we take it up and there we go uh, here they're touching is not bad because some parts of the brain are touching other ones that we can press the box and control the box make it smaller bigger however we want no? um, now this is is good because as we go it creates these intersections which are very nice uh, this uh, like idea that's coming in and out etc etc um, we don't want to have these small selections although why not and we're gonna have to do the whole thing from the top area and probably the bottom is gonna be a, a different type of thing probably uh, we could solve it uh, differently but we we can just extrude different amount as we go down so it has different feeling no um, the important thing here is how, m how many faces we select here too many here it's a good good idea uh, to do this uh, type of trick and here as I went I, I scale it down instead of up so here uh, you can do it differently in different cases because one areas will be pushing uh, in the real world uh, some other parts of the brain so it's fine if you do different type of uh, scaling after doing the extrusion now what I will do is uh, another thing is uh, after you're in this step and you have a nice type of uh, uh, landscape I will select the the sculptor like mass sculpt geometry tool and I I will press like the uh, radius that is uh, according to what you want uh, bigger smaller and, and this one and probably push or pull depending on what you want you can push some parts in the top as you can see it changes so it loses that that type of uh, uh, geometric uh, touch you see so you start li doing this type of uh, insertions and, and modifications so you have at the end a more a less geometrical and more organic form which is what we want which is the, the brain another thing you could just pull instead of push from the from this area so it's less uh, like a uh, landscape you can do uh, more of a sweeping around etc etc so at the end you should have a uh, quite interesting um, form if you uh, if you do the whole thing and and if, you, if you're not happy about the overall I mean do the render like going uh, close to the area that you like more in your brain like here and do a beautiful render of these landscapes that uh, no otherwise uh, are possible to be done uh, uh, differently than what we're doing which is very very uh, nice uh, the next step will be of course to get in here and do something with this uh, beauty that comes from the bottom uh, of this like stalactites cave uh, it, I think <laughs> this will be the next step is going to be like even more interesting that uh, brain uh, from the outside itself but for now uh, let's stay with the outside so you're more and more happy about the perfection of of this uh, landscape uh, landscape equals uh, brain okay i think it's a great tip so you can go on with this as much as you as you can great